Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this log truck, but in red. It was another request. If you have put in a request, I'm working through them, but I've got so many requests, it will take me most of next year to get through them. Now when crocheted in 8 ply, this one, the size is 23 centimetres by 11 centimetres or 9 inches by 4 and a quarter inches. The medium truck, this one, crocheted in 4 ply crochet cotton, is 16 centimetres by 7 and a half centimetres or 6 and a quarter inches by 3 inches. The small log truck, crocheted in 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook, is 12 centimetres by 6 centimetres or 4 and 3 quarter inches by 2 and a quarter inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton today. I've got red for my main colour, grey for the window, the inner wheels and the chains to hold the logs in place. I've got black for the outer wheels and the two browns are for the logs. I've got a 1.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors and thread and a needle to stitch the log truck together. Now I'll start on the body of the truck, the blue part. So using my red, I work 45 chain. There's my chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end, and I'll have 44 stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, we put our hook into the stitch, the second stitch from the hook, bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook, and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end.
And that's the first row complete. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work three single crochet in the first stitch. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work three single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 48 stitches. So after our three single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work three single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take your hook with this yarn at the end through all the three loops on your hook. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 47 stitches.
and that's the first three rows done. We'll be starting on the cap now. So for row four we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first 13 stitches. So one single crochet into the first 13 stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 13 stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 12 stitches. So a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. Row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 10 stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first 7 stitches
and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, and then hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on our hook, then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 8 stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 8 stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now we're going to work a neatening row. So we work one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. and then work one chain and work a single crochet into that same stitch as our last single crochet. That will just give it a bit of a corner and then work one single crochet into each stitch down to the bottom there. Just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge. Now I'm going to work a slip stitch right into the corner here. For a slip stitch put your hook in to the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on your hook. And then spin your work around a bit and work one single crochet into each stitch along this straight edge.
And then we just continue like that, working a single crochet into each stitch on our straight edges and just around this bend here and this bend here we may need to work two single crochet into a stitch to keep our work flat. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get just near the top at the end of the row. When I get back to the beginning of the row I work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the body of the track done. Now I'll start on the window now. So using my grey I work 5 chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And that's the window done except for a neatening row. For the neatening row I start with one chain, I work one single crochet into the side of the first stitch and then a single crochet into the middle of the side and then into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then I work a single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then I work a single crochet in the middle of the side and then into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then work a single crochet into each stitch along the top. Into the last stitch work one single crochet a chain and then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the window done. Now I'll start on the wheels now. These inner wheels. I've got five wheels so I'll only show you how to do one wheel. For the inner wheel I've got my grey and I make a magic loop. There are lots of ways to make a magic loop but I like to put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then the long end over the short end to make a circle and then put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle. And there's my magic loop. Then I work one chain and I'm going to work eight single crochet into my circle. I've 
got my eight single crochet and then I pull the circle tight so I take hold of this tail and just ease it in and then I work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch so that stitch there a slip stitch and fasten off and that's the inner wheel done I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with my black to work the outer wheel now for the outer wheel I join my black to, to any stitch around my wheel I normally join just before the join of the inner wheel and I work two chain I work one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain a double crochet is a treble using UK terms for a double crochet put the yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring through a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops yarn around the hook take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops then work two double crochet into each remaining stitch I'm crocheting in the tail so I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over the top of it Now I've worked my two double crochet into each stitch around then I work a double crochet in the first stitch and then slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off and that's the first wheel done I'll have to work four more wheels the same. Now I'll be back with my light brown to work a log. Now the three logs are all work the same so I'll just work one to show you how to work them. Now I've got my light brown and I start with 27 chain Row one, I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So two single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then I work 
one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work three single crochet into the last stitch. And that's row one done. We're going to work a neatening row now, right around our work. So we're going to work into the back of the chain. So that stitch there, I'm going to crochet over that tail. So I work a single crochet into the back loop of the chain right across the bottom. And then just around the corner part here, work two single crochet 
into two of the stitches. just to give it a curved look and then work a single crochet into each stitch along the top. Once we get back to the beginning of the row, slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Now I'll weave in that end and then I'll be back with my dark brown to do this edging. Now for this dark brown edging, I join in the back loop only of any stitch around the log. I like to join in a corner stitch. This is the back loop here. So I join in there and then I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch around but into the back loop only. So I put my hook into the back loop, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. and then continue working a slip stitch into the back loop only of each stitch around.
and I work a slip stitch into the same stitch as we started and fasten off. And that's the first log done. I'll work some more logs and wheels, weaving my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. We'll work the chains to hold the logs together right at the end. And there's all my pieces. I've got three logs, the truck body, five wheels and a window. The first things I'll do is attach the window at the bottom of the second row from the top. So just in about there. And I'll attach the first log probably about there. I put the right sides together and then just stitch along there from where it stops curving. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Next I'll embroider on a door handle just under the window. So probably a row under and it starts about the back of the window to about halfway along the window. And I'll also attach the second log. It just attaches slightly further along one way. You can either have it towards the back or towards the front one way. But we want them a little bit uneven. So I'll put the right sides together again and stitch along the straight part. Now next I'll attach the third log. It will go even with the first log. So about there. And I'll also attach the wheels. I've got two at the back, very close to each other. So about there. And then two at the front of the tray, about there. They almost touch each other. And then the last wheel goes on the cab. So I'll attach them and I'll be back with my grey to work the chains to hold the logs in place. Now next I'll work these three lengths of chain to go from the top of the tray to over the top of the logs and I have enough to go down the other side a bit. Now it will depend on your crocheting as to how many you'll need. I need about 25. Now that's 25 chain and that's plenty so I'll fasten off and I'll need two more. So I stitch them from the tray up over the logs and over the top. I stitch the two end ones first and then I stitch the other one in the middle. So I'll work two more lots of chain and then stitch them on and I'll be back to show you the finished log truck. And there's the finished log truck. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.